Hey Minties, uh, long time no see, or maybe not long time no see if you're watching my weekly live show on Tuesdays, but I am back with my winter haul. So I got quite a few things since my last haul. Um, I probably should have been doing one last month and then this month, but we're putting it all together, one big winter haul. Um, so let's get to it. Um, first of all, there's so much stuff here, I don't even know what to uh, look at. I bought a ton of floppies uh, this past few months. Um, I'll highlight a few. Uh, even though I am not collecting Teen Titans Academy, um, you know, regularly, I did have to get this cover. Very, I mean, it's, it's my boy Roy, and even though his proportions are a little weird on this, um, I had to, I had to. And then, of course, I'm keeping up with things like Wonder Girl, uh, Star Wars High Republic, um, both of the, both the adventures themselves. Um, as well as, you know, the adult stuff. So that's IDW and Marvel. Um, more of that. Nubia, of course. Wonder Girl. And the other series I'm picking up regularly is Blue and Gold. Yeah, there's just, just more <laughs> and more. Um, keeps going. Um, so I did uh, pre-order quite a few things. Um, I've been pre-ordering through... TFAW, but I think I'm going to change that because the shipping cost is pretty high. Um, but I got Abbott 1973, which continues Abbott. I love the first one, so I'm sure I'm going to love this as well. Uh, the Masterful Cat is depressed again <laughs> um, today, which is a cute little manga. And uh, I did already read this one. I really liked it. It's about this, you know, young adult that's just trying to get her life together and She's got this giant cat at home that basically does like all of her housework and cooking and everything. Uh, it's, it's, it's cute, it's fun. Uh, another one, which I haven't read yet, uh, Mighty Nine uh, Origins. This is the origin of Jester Lavore. This is from the second season of Critical Role. Um, so the first one is uh, Vox Machina, the second one is Mighty Nine. Um, I've already pre-ordered all of the <laughs> Mighty Nine Origin books. Uh, as well as all the critical, all the critical role, everything. Even though I have a hard time keeping up with the podcast itself um, because it's very long form and I have ADHD and have to do my best, um, the books are a great way for me to connect with the series. Lore Olympus. I was gonna do like a highlight of this book, but then it kind of got away from me, and then I I knew a lot of other people already did. But um, I did get the regular version. I didn't get the Barnes and Noble one. But this is the collection of the webtoon about Hades and Persephone. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like the top. Yeah, yeah, number number one webtoon comic. Um, so this getting released in this beautiful hardback was a really big deal. Um, as some of you may know, I've gotten really into webtoons over the past like half year. Uh, so this was really exciting to pick up. Next, this big boy, Once in Future. Um, and this was sort of like a blind buy-ish for me because I'd read the first trade and just went ahead and pre-ordered this um, deluxe because I, I, I love a boom deluxe. I love that it has no dust jacket. I love Dan Mora art. Um, for those of you who haven't read it, this is sort of like a retelling of King Arthur, but not really and not really in a way that I can fully describe to you. Um, but I absolutely recommend it. Uh, it's definitely sort of like a genre bending of these old... Um, uh, stories and folk stories. Um, absolutely recommend. And look at that. You can kind of see it. Ooh, shiny. Uh, a couple other things I ordered. Uh, Dragon Age Dark Fortress. Uh, I haven't read this yet either, but I'm a huge, huge, huge Dragon Age fan. Um, I have the other like library editions of Dragon Age comics as well as the art books. Uh, I've played all the games. And this one features Fenris uh, from Dragon Age 2. Uh, so I was very excited for this one, and I will be reading it soon, but this is uh, in the Tevinter Imperium, which is not a place we get to really explore a lot in the Dragon Age games, so very exciting. And of course, I had to get Upgrade Soul Collector's Edition. Upgrade Soul is uh, one of my top 10 all-time favorite comic books of all time. Um, it's wonderful, and I'm not going to tell you anything about it. I'm going to, as always, I try to sell this book everywhere I go. Um, I never... The way that it was sold to me by a friend was, hey, you need to read this book. 
Don't look up anything about it, just read it. And since then, and I loved it, I've been doing the same thing. So please check out Upgrade Soul by Ezra Clayton Daniels. Daniels? Yes, Daniels. Um, don't look up anything about it, just read it. I love this collector's edition. I will give a little peek of the inside art, but it is beautiful. The only bummer is that like the cover is just like a, they made like the actual cover smaller with extra text and I'm kind of bummed out about that. I want something a little bit different. But at the same time, I do appreciate that this does not give away anything about the book. And I think that adds to, you know, for me, the selling point of that. Also, I got these two big babies. Um, poster portfolios. Ah! These are such a good <laughs> investment. I already took out a lot of the posters in here, but um, these are like 25 bucks. And DC has uh, quite a few different artists. And in each of them are different posters. So I think they're like 11 by 17s or 12 by 18, something like that, if you can see. Um, and you just take the poster right out. I've already taken a few and I've already given away some as well. Some of them are hanging upstairs in my office. Um, but look at that. It's so nice. And so I, I have the Joelle Jones one as well as the Stanley R. Germ of uh, volume two. I've pre-ordered DC Pride and um, Jenny Frisson because I'm a huge Jenny Frisson fan. And this is, a, it was such a great investment because, um, you know, regular price is like $25. You, of course, get that cheaper on like ISG, ISG, IST. Yes, Robin, tell them what the deals. And our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com. Um, you can pre-order those right now. <laughs> uh, they also make for really great gifts. So not only they're great like art for your wallet for a great price, because these prints like in real life would be $15, $20. Um, but fantastic gifts. So I've been I've been giving these away for friends for Christmas. So I figured I'd buy all of them and just have them. So it's somebody's birthday. It's like, hey, here it is. I put in a nice frame. Here's something to add to your wall for comic book stuff. A um, couple other things I bought before I get to things that people bought me. <laughs> you can see my cat in the background. Sorry. Um, Sailor Moon Q Pasca. So I had this pre-ordered. I haven't opened it yet. I wanted to wait till I did the video. But I'm a huge fan of the Q Pasca uh, figures. I have. A few Wonder Woman, um, I have Harley Quinn, um, some One Piece stuff, Sailor Jupiter. Um, I am also just praying that my cat does not knock over that <laughs> Strange to Paradise Gallery edition. Um, I also got a new pot figure of Yara Floor, um, obviously because I love her and she's amazing. But um, pick this up, I'm really excited to unbox it because I don't keep anything in boxes, I'm not that person. So this will be going upstairs in my office. Also, I got to <laughs> meet up in person with my co-host from Fangirls Assemble, which is a live show I do on Omnibus Collectors Network. Um, and we went to Second and Charles, and she, I keep calling her a bad influence. She says she's a good influence, but we went shopping. So I bought some manga because, you know, it's fun. Uh, I haven't read any of these yet. These are just sort of, they're kind of blind buys. They just look cool. Uh, the first one I got is... Uh, Magus or Magus of the library. Uh, this was like $4 by Kodansha. Um, I don't know anything about it. I just know that it feels cool and it looked cool. And, you know, the art seems nice. So I figured it's good. Um, this one I've been dying to read, Boys Run the Riot. I read the excerpt that they had like released for free. Um, oh my God. Uh, Wonder Woman's hand fell off, but it's on a magnet, so it's okay. <laughs> um, um, so this is about a high school student who's uh, transgender, and he makes another friend at school, and he wants to start like a they want to start a clothing company together, a clothing line, uh, and it looks really cool. I've really let me find a picture. I really dig the art, and I think there's like I don't know four or five of these books out. But it's received a lot of praise. I'm really excited to get into it. Not that I need another manga series to spend money on, but you know, fingers crossed I like it. Okay, this next one, don't judge me, you guys, um, is Sweat and Soap. Now I know how it looks, okay? But I also heard that it's not really like that, okay? I know this does not look very appropriate, but I've heard really good things about this series from uh, like, I book talk. So if you're not on like TikTok, 
it's a side of TikTok where people talk about books and manga and stuff. I heard some really good things about it, so I'm going to jump into that because there's a good deal. I think it was like, did I buy this full price? I bought it full price. Well. Um, and I also bought Syrup Volume 1. It is a Yuri anthology. Um, I mean, I don't need to say anything more about that. It, it looks very cute. A lot of different artists in here. Um, and I love anthology manga as well. So a bunch of little short stories. Looks cute. Gifts. I got gifts from all over. Uh, first of all, let me show my <laughs> gift that Kristen, my co-host, gave me. Um, one of the books is in uh, my office, so I don't have it with me, but um, Whisper Me a Love Song, Volume 1. This is another Yuri book by Kodansha. Um, really excited about this. I think they're like in a band. Um, my cat is trying to sniff my um, microphone. Quit it. I know. I know. Mwah. Um, she also got me these cute Wonder Woman stickers. That's what friends do. Uh, as well as a little like mini comic of her husband, Reed, whose comics I love. Really recommend. A little shout out right here, Reed Chancellor. Definitely check it out. Um, we got a gift from Freddie. Thank you so much, Freddie. You're always so sweet. Uh, Stranger Things Volume 6. I haven't read any of Stranger Things. I've watched the show, obviously. But I'm excited to read the comic book. Uh, as well as Spider Woman. So I've already gotten Silk from him, so it's, it's time for me to make the dive into all the spider women now. Um, I'm surprised I haven't read this, or maybe I have and like forgot, um, but really excited to read this. So it has Spider Woman, Spider Gwen, and Silk in there. I guess there's a lot of different artists, maybe it's like a crossover. Um, I'm excited. Okay, also, I received, as always, the sweetest gift from Scotty G. Thank you, Scotty G. You always write the sweetest cards and beautiful cards, and you're just so thoughtful. Uh, and Sky G sent me a bunch of floppies, and I'm really excited. They're so cool. Like, got Inferno. Um, love this one. It's Superman Action Comics. It's 1993. Um, I guess it's Superman 689. It's from Reign of the Superman, which I've only ever um, seen, like, the animated movie for. I'm sorry, it's a little shiny. Um, but I love the look of it. This very cute Extreme Carnage cover. Um, this um, oh, beautiful, <laughs> very beautiful Black Canary cover of Deathstroke. Love that. Um, got Scarlet Witch. Uh, this cool variant cover of Arkham City, The Order of the World. My cat is once again trying to knock this thing off of here. Ooh, this is really cool. Uh, he sent me this really cool, I don't know if I'll be able to show on camera, New 52 Futures and Supergirl number one. I don't know if you can kind of see it. Um, and then Ultimate X-Men uh, issue 72 and The Punisher. So one of these days, when I've, I've, I've already decided I'm going to treat myself because I have a busy work week coming up where like one night I'm just gonna sit down here at my like Japanese heated table because I have Kotatsu and then just like read through the issues. So thank you, Scotty. You're always really thoughtful and I really appreciate you. Um, next things. Um, this is not a book, but um, I got <laughs> Digimon Adventure Triumph Blu-ray, the complete six film collection <laughs> for Christmas. <laughs> um, I'm a huge Digimon fan. For anyone at home, I'm a huge fan, so I've only watched three of these, so I'm excited to watch the rest. Um, also from Omar, I don't know if he had an extra one, if he's just being thoughtful, um, but Young Avengers by Kieran Gillen. Look at that. Look how cool it is. I'm so excited. Yay. A little, a little omnibus. Um, and the last, yeah, I guess a couple more things. I just had a couple of board games. Um, I got a couple expansions for Time Stories. Uh, I got Expedition uh, Endurance and Brotherhood of the Coast. Really excited to play this. We're big Time Stories fans. Um, yeah, so those are the main things. Uh, I did get some video games. I got, uh, we got a BS5, so that's like the big news. So of course, oh my gosh, this cat. We got like Spider-Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, which Guardians of the Galaxy, you guys, comic book fans, please play that game. It's so good. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima, Demon Souls, uh, yeah, so, you know, pretty, it was a pretty great Christmas. I'm, I, it was a great winter. I'm so thankful. Thank you for those who sent in gifts. It's so sweet of you. 
Um, it always puts a smile on my face, so I have, you know, this fun little gift in the mail or an Elmore's bringing stuff over from the P.O. box. Uh, yeah, and I hope you all had a, great, a good winter. I know it's it's a weird time, um, but I'm always thankful, you know, for getting to do videos here on the channel, getting to do my live show. I hope that I see you guys on the live show sometime coming out with me live um, on Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, let me know what you got in winter. What did you get for Christmas? Do, you know, did you buy comic books for yourself? Did somebody give you comic books? Um, what did that look like for you? Um, what are you looking forward to reading this year? Uh, you know, whatever's on your mind. I hope you like this video. Continue to subscribe. Um, and don't forget to check out our wonderful sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com. Uh, and check out our Patreon uh, for all sorts of extra bits and things. Uh, and, you know, I hope I see you soon. Bye.